Hello everyone, this is L here and today we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for like three months or something like that, but like through a bunch of technical difficulties and just like giving up halfway through doing it. I'm finally doing it. I'm going to be doing a let's play of a mod off of the website Run Think Shoot Live. And if you don't know, runthinkshootlive.com is a uh, fan run Half-Life news related website and it also has a bunch of um, uh, community content and fan modifications and just a bunch of stuff on there. So on this website, there's a lot of map making challenges and they're often called things like Defenseville or Bridgeville or Teleportville. And that sort of dictates the theme of the uh, challenge. In this case, the challenge is to make a map around the use of the gravity gun. And a very special gravity gun, but we'll be getting into that in just a bit. In this uh, challenge there, I believe, are nine entries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine entries. And um, why don't we just get right into it? I'm going to be honest, this isn't actually my first time recording this video. I tried to record it last night, but some of the footage got a little bit corrupted and made editing very difficult. So I'm going to try and re-record it now. And hopefully, if this video does well, I'm going to be doing more of them. And they will be my live reaction. So, anyway, let's just get into it. So first up, first entry, is Multiverse Learning. Alright, cool. So we start with the teleporter. Starting with the teleporter is a pretty cool way of starting the map, actually. Because it kind of states that you don't even know. The character in the game doesn't even know where he is. He's just showed up. You haven't missed anything. Welcome into Looper. Don't panic, memory loss and disorientation are typical side effects of multiverse travel. This is the Multiverse Learning Center. Everything is explained here. What does that say? Where's my paper? God damn it. It's a joke that never dies. Multiverse Learning Center 2. You can test new weapons and elements and safety. Take your time and learn as much as you can from the boards. Go test and learn. I'm really liking sort of the aesthetic. Like, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the training levels in Team Fortress 2. How they were kind of in this um, sort of quickly built uh, warehouse sort of thing. Ah, the Mecha Crab. So the Mecha Crab is a custom element that um, has been in some of the previous uh, mapping challenges. And uh, it's pretty much just like a normal head crab except it takes a couple of hits to kill instead of one. <laughs> Why do I get the washing machines in here? Who's going to be doing the freaking washing in here? Whatever. All right, sweet. We've got some guns. All right. So, shit. So that one took two hits. And this this one only takes one. The Mertz model. All right. So this is sort of a thing that we can put on top of uh, the gravity gun. All right. So there it is. And um, if you've played Gmod... There's a similar sort of alternate gravity gun that you can get that pretty much does this, but the way it works is you pick up an item, use mouse three, and then you can freeze it like that. So, create away Dr. Mertz with pink crystal. Attach the gravity gun, it freezes items indefinitely. So I can freeze it like that. Yeah. So I wonder if it can support my weight. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. I just love this. The fact that I can freeze stuff. Like, I wonder how high could I climb just by making sort of a staircase. Let's try this. Like, alright, maybe I can just sort of like hopscotch it. Oh, well, oh, damn. Oh. Alright. I could probably, yeah, look at that. We got all the way up here. And why is it crouching? Why is it crouching? <laughs> There's nothing there. Alright. So it's not as easy as I would have hoped it to be. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. Okay. So. Right. Okay. Couldn't I just use that? Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. It's a counterweight problem. No way, it's not a counterweight problem. It's a freezing problem. We don't need weight when we have 
reality bending physics. Look at that, it just stays down like a good little barrel. Uh, okay, so I think this is like, it's all like the prologue for the whole mod. So this is like teaching us how to use uh, this thing. So this isn't like one of the entries, I don't think. I don't remember seeing this one on the website, so. Ah, right, well that was fun. I like the, um, like the aesthetic. I said that it reminded me of um, the Team Fortress 2 training level. So that's cool. Very tongue in cheek with like, <laughs> with like the beard joke and the uh, Dr. Breen line, that kind of stuff. All right, Urban Decay is up next. It doesn't tell me the name, so I'm just gonna add them in post. So next up is Urban Decay by Ian Spadden. All right. All right, sweet. Ooh, I'm liking the music. Very sort of, um, it reminds me of Odd World, Odd's World. Nah, I really like the soundtrack. It, it's like synthesizers that are like barely cling to life. It's gorgeous. All right, what's, uh, what's through here? Oh. There's always a box and some dead guy guarding it, isn't there? There isn't anything down there, is there? Can't really see. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a hole here. Look at that. Fuck you. I know that I have a, um... I have a magnum here, but I don't want to waste it on a couple of zombies. He's throwing barrels over there. You having a barrel of a time? I really like the aesthetic of this map. It's got a very sort of, um... I like that whole sort of early morning, cold, dark feeling. Alright. Let's go on here. So I can break glass with the gravity gun. I don't know if you could actually do that in the original game. <laughs> I am certain that this washing machine is essential to completing this map. So I'm going to have to try to get this outside. There we go. Perfect. Let's get this over this wall. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, you know what? No. Nah, nah, I'm good. Shit. Damn, fuck. You know, no, normally those zombies are very easy to avoid because you can just sort of run away from their grenades, but it's not so easy when you're in a basement. All right, I'm wasting all my magnet buildings. So I've got to be more. Oh, hi. No, no, no. Fool me once. Fuck you. This uh, building kind of reminds me of like an old church. I don't know. Nah, it is intentional. Those windows. The only place those windows exist in, is in a church. Hi there. Just taking out the trash. You're fast on your feet. Why don't you take a seat? Oh, I missed. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's funny. So this is just a closet. There's no doorway in there. How do I... How do I get over there? What the heck? Hold on. I've got an idea. Give me a second. Alright, there we go. Piece of cake. Alright. So. Okay. Oh, hi down there. I'm sure I'll be getting to you in a moment. Oh, there's energy in the power modules. I wonder what could be happening next. Oh, look. <laughs> Why is it in the toilet? Right, okay. Can I open one of these? No? Alright. Oh, wait. There's a generator. Okay, well. Alright, let me guess. I turn this on. Wait, shit, it's the fucking arena. Damn it. Alright. I turn that on. The doors open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. That's one door down. Shut up. Stop. Yeah, that's right. I get to see something on fire. These damn things, they just don't know how to die. You can hit them a gazillion times. Oh shit, that guy had a grenade. Okay, what's on the other side here? Just let me out. Wait, what's this music from? I don't think it's from one of the Half-Life games. Is this original? Not bad. It's a pretty cool soundtrack. Well, I gotta say, that fight... That was actually a pretty good fight, because I saw it coming, but it was still a very um, intense fight. Because, like, often when you see a fight coming in a game, you tend to breeze quite through it quite easily but you know that was that was a very fun fight good job and I get it because we started over here and we ended the same spot that's very clever I gotta say that's very clever so next up is Ashtown by Matt71490 hello sir what's up can I annoy him because normally they try and attack you if you're not all right Guess I'm this map. Oh wow. Whoa. I'm liking the look of this map so far. That's a horse. Wow. Look at that horse. Alright, gravity gun acquired. Now what are you? Okay. It's just a box. Oh shit. You see that shake? Oh freaking. <laughs> Whole freaking world shakes on this thing. So I'm guessing this thing is just like super heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. You can barely move it with the gravity gun. It's a very heavy box. But the gravity gun is even heavier. Look at the space station. Alright. Alright, what am I doing? I'm pretty sure I can jump this. Alright, I'm gonna jump this. There we go. Parkour. And is this it? Oh, freedom. Okay. We'll just take the hole in the wall, why don't we? Oh. I don't like that sound. That does not sound like freedom. Right, I'll just stand in the line. Yes! Alright, we're gonna have to take the shoot with us. It's too overpowering not to bring it with us. Alright, I gotta... I gotta say something about these cubes. I wonder if I can... Alright, I'm gonna just try this. I'm gonna try just dropping it on the hard drive. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Mate, throw this. Throw that. Throw it. No, you gotta throw it. Alright, buddy, throw this. Throw it. Alright, you know what? You suck. Get wrecked. Oh, shit. So this thing, this thing is heavy. Because it can move a car with, like, ease. Look at that, it moves three cars with absolute ease. What happens if I just put it on the end of this? Oh, damn, look at that. Look at this, look at this. Look at that. Fucking puts it in the air. Yeah, that is that is cool. I'm liking these cubes. I mean, they're they're heckin' overpowered, but I'm liking these cubes. All right, I th think the idea is I'm meant to go on the train, so uh, we'll get in the train. Alright, that's, that's it. Okay. Alright, so next up is Banshee by Octagear. So I'm sort of getting some White Forest um, vibes from this map. I don't actually see a whole lot of maps sort of taking influence from White Forest. Many people sort of forget about that part of the games. And we've got a G-Man painting. Alright, this looks like the way to go. Okay. 
Alright, power. Let's see if we can get the power on. No. Okay. We'll just gravity gun. And oh okay, now it works. See, the user has to be holding a gravity gun before the power will actually work. And it's not actually for the power. This whole this whole fuse box is purely for opening the grate in the ventilation shaft. You don't even need a vent for it. You can just open it with your gravity gun. Uh, we can't get under there. But, uh, oh, more vents. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, look at that. See, I know some tricks. I'm, uh, I'm uh, quite the Half-Life player. All right. Meso models in there. Let's just try. Nope. All right. I'm pretty sure we can long jump this. Let me give it another shot. I'm gonna long jump this. <sighs> you know, I'd really help if I could sprint, but all right, I'll just get a freaking box here and just, you know. All right, there we go. Mess the model. Merst, Mertzi. Fucking, how do you pronounce that word? I feel like a dumbass because I can't pronounce this five letter word. The men's condition quickly worsened, with Mertz once a champion. Mertz. All right. All right I feel silly. Mertz. And I'm pretty sure this is a bridge puddle puzzle. Let me grab that box. All right. I wonder. Let's do it with the coins. All right. Uh, I don't think I can grab the coins. I can't grab the cones. What the heck? Okay. Let's do that. There we go. And... I'm pretty sure this is a bridge puzzle again. Okay. Bridge. Up we go. Like, I, I really like the Mertz module. I really like the addition to the gravity gun. But I feel like people aren't really using it to its full potential. They're mostly making bridge puzzles. I mean, didn't people get really pissed off at a bridge puzzle game a couple of months ago? Okay, I think this is the end of the map here. Yes. Alright, sweet. Escaped. I didn't really feel like I was trapped. But that was Banshee, and that was a pretty fun map. Alright. Fuel Me Once by Derek Destiny. Fuel me once, fuel me once, fuel me once. Far from home and out of gas. Cool. All right, is there any gas in here? No. There is a gravity gun though, and I like me some gravity guns. And cactuses. I mean, I'm pretty sure, oh shit. All right, I'm pretty sure the objective of this map is to get fuel for the car and then get over that ramp. So I wonder if we can just... This isn't really... This is sort of cheating, but... All right. Okay. I know I can do this. I know I can do it. I mean, I'm not even like... I'm not even trying here. I mean, if I was really trying, I would be bringing both of these signs with me, wouldn't I? Yeah. And I would also be using save states, obviously. But I don't think I need them. Oh, okay, yeah, I need them. Okay, yeah, there's definitely an invisible wall. You know what? Oh, shit. I'm determined to get over this gap. Come over here. I mean, how high could it go, you know? So why don't we just keep doing this? And eventually, we'll get over it. No? Hey! We did it. Oh, shit. No. Okay. Yeah. That was pointless. And I can't go back. <sighs> All right, let's play the map. Let's play the freaking map. How you doing, gnome? 
If I put the mom like this, he looks really big. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, um, grab it. Come on. Up. Oh my... Alright, you know what? That's good enough. Oh, hi. You gonna help me find a fuel? He's gonna terror ter terrorize me. Where I heard you spawn. There you are. Now we got some landmines. Am, am I the only one who, like, never uses these? I don't find these that useful. I'm, they're pretty cool as projectiles, but that's about it. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to use you at some point. Oh shit. Okay. Let's go through here. If I can get the grate open, just jump on here. Oh, jump on here. Alright, so. Oh, that was simple enough. Just had to turn that knob. I mean, I knew there was some sort of puzzle, so I just sort of started turning knobs. But valves. I don't really get the point of this room. I mean, maybe I should try and get all these lights green. Maybe that's the point of the room. Turn this one on. Green. Green. Oh shit. We were not supposed to do that. I suggest that we get out of here right about now. Shit, is it fucking hunters? How are you doing? How does that hurt? Let's see how you go. Yep. I don't know what I was worried about. <laughs> it took like two hits. That one only took one. What the heck? I wonder if I can get onto this ship. I mean, I... Alright. Uh, seems I can't get onto the boat. There's an invisible wall. <laughs> but I can see the underworld. Yeah. Alright, let's fuel up. Fuel up. Awesome. And when they say it gets stuck, it really does get stuck. Check it over there. We're coming for you, Nomi. Alright. There we go. Oh. No, that's it. Fuel me once. Fuel me once. Fuel me once. Fuel me I don't know why that title reminds me of Take On Me. I mean, I don't know, maybe I've just got the song stuck in my head. But that was Fuel Me Once. F fuck. Oh my god. Fuel Me Once, I get it now. Fuel Me Once. Fool Me Once. It didn't have a fuck all to do with Take On Me. <laughs> Alright, Citadel. By Sockman. Now, I saw a little bit of this map on our Bollocks channel. And uh, from what I can tell, it's kind of a, a portal themed puzzle map, which I think I've played something like this before, and it was in one of the twenty, uh, in one of the forty-eight hour challenges, where it was sort of like a Half-Life portal crossover puzzle map, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So I have high hopes for this map. I can open the door. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it, whatever. Okay, cube. You... That's straightforward enough. Cube. Whoa. Oh! Well, that... Okay, yeah. So I can pass through these, but the cube can't. And... Alright, that's simple enough. Alright, we've got the Mertz module now. So we can do, we can do shit like this. I'm gonna make this. I am definitely gonna make this. <laughs> yes! Parkour player number one. 
I wonder how low we can get. All right, that's how low. Okay. Right, how do we solve this? Man. Right, okay, yeah. So we gotta put it over here. Freeze it. Unfreeze and grab. Sweet. There we go. Alright, I'm liking this map so far. I'm liking it a lot. Alright, cool. We got some Portal 2 lasers. Yeah. There we go. This is a lot of fun. I'm loving this. Alright. So. Laser needs to go this way. Okay. Okay, so we put it against that. All right. All right, this one's a little confusing. So that does that, but... So wang this down. That, oh, oh, I get it, I get it. So we do that, we come over here, we unfreeze it, boom. So easy, so easy. Oh boy, all right, so two lasers to open the door. Okay, what does this button do though? All right, it works the lift. So come here, do that. Bring this with us, unfreeze that. We go up, right. Oh, okay, so we do that. Come back down here. So, um... Oh, the door's open! It's <laughs> so open. Well, that's... That's that's exactly what we need. Alright, what, what are we doing? Okay, door's up there. This button destroys cubes. Okay, that's weird. And the button... What does the button do? Alright, the button works the lift. So, down. so, press the button, that gets wrecked, it comes down, and it goes away, and then, okay, I see. Oh, I get it, so we put this here, put this one on top, and then, then we destroy it, and that blocks it, okay, oh, oh. What? Do I not do it right? Oh, I think it just fell through. All right, we got it. Oh, okay. This looks... So, this kind of looks like the climax of the map. Can I really not press that down? Oh, well, that's just lovely. That doesn't make any sense. But okay, I guess that's the rule. So we need three cubes. So open the door, there's one there, one there, there's another over there. How do we open that? How do we try this? I'm gonna try throw it. Yes! Oh, fuck this shit. Okay. So now we can just grab it. Sweet, but how do we get this one? How do we even open this door? Oh, the laser opens the doors, okay. So we point this in there. Then we point the laser at the signal and the door opens. So I guess now, can I just grab it? Yes! Yes. Alright, one, two, three. Yes. Alright, we got it. Oh, shit. Guess we're not going through there. Alright, I guess we're going up. Oh, 
I have to see Mr. B Mr. Breen, Dr. Breen. I have to go see Dr. Breen, and he's gonna tell us how amazing they are at problem solving, I bet. Up we go, up we go. Oh, we're going pretty fast. Wait. Oh, shit. It's gonna crash into the ceiling, isn't it? It's gonna crash into the ceiling. Sorry, in a fire here that is squished against the roof. Oh, no. I guess not. Freedom. Freedom, I guess. Is that meant to be freedom? It's freedom from the map. We'll say that. Next, we have Climber by Connor Bray. Wow, it's, it's awfully bright here. Let me just turn that all the way down. I mean, it still looks really bright. Maybe the gamma's all the way up, something like that. Oh, okay. Hello, friend. You stay over there, thanks. Okay, let's climb. Up here. Uh, over here? Oh. Well, that was very short, wasn't it? Hold on, maybe I missed something. Let's play it again. Oh, shit. Alright, what if I just go over here? Does this end the map? No, it doesn't. Alright. Alright, so, to be fair, I kind of took a bit of a shortcut first time I did this. So, we'll take the long route this time. By making a bridge with this. And now we finish it. Alright. Alright, next up, we have Collector. By Purple Stacken. Collector, so I'm guessing we have to collect stuff. I always loved how these bottles are just like, it, just impossibly fragile. <laughs> God. All right, what do we got to do? Let's um, let's go upstairs. Maybe something up there. All right, there's not much. Okay. Doors stuck. All right, well it's called the collector. Why don't we just collect everything in this room? I'm sure that's what the title refers to. Down we go. Is that? All right, yep. It is the only two floors. I haven't checked that room. Maybe. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing, we... oh, yep. No, not the freaking, there, all right. Fuel canister and the thing. There we go. Is that really all of them? There are only two missing. Apparently, okay. Well, let's see what that just powered up. So power up this, all right, it did. Pull the lever. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you could jump that. Okay, apparently you can't. I've got to have missed something. There's... All right, maybe there's something else upstairs I've missed. Okay. All right, the door's open. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, bridge is repaired. All right, what lies beyond the bridge? Another shut door. What is this game's deal? With shut doors, eh? What's it still with shut doors and open vents? Huh? Through here. Okay. So what are we gonna do in here? Pretty sure we can jump through that window. Alright, no we can't jump through the window. Ah! Fuse box. Right, okay. Well, I don't really see what we can do here. Um, let me try to get through the window again. No, you definitely can't get through the window. Wait, valves, all right. If there's a valve, you need to turn it. This valve hasn't been doing much work for many, many years. All right. Oh shit. All right, well, if it explodes like that, the obvious thing to do is to try and turn it on again. Okay. Please don't burn down everything. Okay, problem solved. We are going out the door. So I guess we'll just head through here. Oh shit. 
Oh, okay. What's over there? And there's a doorway. Fuck it. Let's go. Damn it. Oh, no. No. Get the fuck out of the way. Go. Go. Alright, that's it. Hold on. That can't be it. I gotta do that again. Alright, can we go through here? Alright, we can't even move this stuff. What the heck? I feel like I've been cheating. I haven't been given a full map. I'm gonna snoop around real quick. So don't tell the creator I'm doing this. But I'm gonna snoop around. Okay. Alright, nah, I don't think there is anything else that this map has the offer. What if I just teleport around this curve? Oh, I can open the door to nowhere. Alright, well, I guess this is all this map has to offer. Alright, well, that was Collector. Alright, next up is Echo by Malkovic. Malkovic. Malkovic? Malkovic. 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 Sorry, what did it say? Vec. Ma -ma Malovic. I can't read today. I'm overthinking this name. Echoes by Malavik. Okay. Alright, well, it took me three times to pronounce your name, so it's... Oh, sweet. We can just head on in. Can't grab any of the items, though, but that's okay. Oh, no, I can grab the suitcase. I'm gonna take the suitcase with me. Saved! I mean, you didn't have to tell me, mate, but thanks for telling me anyway. Ominous flashing light. My favourite. Oh, dead soldier. Oh, trap floor. Come on. Alright, there we go. Is that... Is that antlion grubs? It is. Oh, hi. There are antlion grubs here. Which is interesting. That means that the antlions have made a hive within the city. Which I don't think I've seen that before. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay, I get this. Grab this, throw that. There we go. Where's my suitcase? There it is. Why don't you take a seat? I said, why don't you take a seat? Maybe you need to vent your problems a little. Okay. Oh, battery. I'm sure this is important. And it surely is. Ah, oh, sleeping zombies, of course. Oh, okay, you're already awake. Well, that's just fine and dandy. Come on, the battery's heavy. How's that not having an effect on you? Yeah, take a seat, mate. Wish our uh, batteries lasted a little longer. That would have been nice. Oh, you're awake too, are you? There you go. Alright, we gotta find a battery. Battery, battery, battery. Battery! Alright, that was easy enough. <laughs> Just teleported it to the other side of the bench. Okay, up here. Game saved. Oh, I forgot about these. It's weird that they have these in the introductory map, but... You don't really see a lot, a lot of them after that. This guy's very chill. He doesn't even care I'm here. He doesn't care at all. Hi there, buddy. What's up? Hi there, buddy. What's up going on? Hey, no, that's not nice. That's not nice. What's up, buddy? What's up? I didn't know that. You, <laughs> you just stand on headcrabs and they won't attack. Alright, how do we open this jigger? Something in here? Oh. Excuse me, mate. Let's press that. There we go. Yeah, I really, really hate these proximity mines because, honestly, all I really find these things are good for uh, projectiles, because most of the time I just spend my time setting them off. 
Oh shit. You know what? They are ripped. These are real useful. These, you know, they just projectiles waiting to be thrown. Oh damn. Maybe I've been too harsh on the uh, proximity mines. Oh shit. Fight's not over. I don't think. That music doesn't make me think it's over. There we go. Take this with me. Hi guys. Bye guys. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, I get it. Shield. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right, that counts anyway. Even if it goes back in, you still go to Bullseye. Where's my suitcase? Suitcase. All right, guys. I'm all ready to go on my trip. Let's go. Exactly. With my suitcase. All right. Well, that was Echoes. Bye. Now, we have one more. We have Asylum. By Alex and Drew. AKA Mel C311. All right. Asylum. So I'm guessing this is like... Yeah, it's another prospect. So, um, where the heck is this? <laughs> We're just in some hole somewhere. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, this is, our, this is our bedroom. We lie down in here. This is our house. We've got barrels. Our house is barrels of fun. Yeah, oh, hold on. Let me just grab this. There we go. Right, okay. Um, is there something I miss? A switch, maybe. Let me top up here. Oh, well, that's a great looking, uh, that's a great looking prison yard. Nice and bad. All right, what am I missing here? This has got to be the door we go through. Heck. Oh, right. Probably should have thought of that before, eh? All right, so, um, we pretty much got another prospect here. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Grab this box. Okay, okay. No, no, in here. Let's go through here then. Alright. Let's use this. Oh shit. It's over here. No, stop. Stop. It's not nice. Stop. Prison break. All right. Everyone's out of their seals now, I guess. Oh, shit. Especially the police. They're definitely out of their cells. Brick. Sorry, the thing. Ah. Oh, shit. I feel really happy about that shot. I don't know why. It's kind of weird how many of these cells have uh, med kits in them. You know, maybe they're smuggling in med kits, getting high on the uh, morphine. Oh shit! Stop! Stop! Damn it! I'm doing really bad today. I'm so sorry. Do these ones have items in them? Yeah, they do. They all got stuff. This, there's a there's a box of bullets in there. Why is there a box of bullets in a prison cell? What the heck? No oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Nope. Come in. Come in. Come on. Join your friends. There you go. No, we can't. Okay. Oh hi. No. No. Don't shoot me. Oh shit, oh, okay, okay. Man, a lot of things blowing up on this map. Like, oh, let's see. Why, why is there so many health drops around here, eh? Look got them all over the place. How much smuggling was going on in this prison? What the heck? Ah, yes. How come like every Nova Prospect prison is flooded? 
Oh, oi! It's mine! No! Guys! Get out of here! Fuck. No! 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 Come here. Okay. Let's try this again. I don't know what these things are called. What are these things called? I mean, I know they're used for um, wrapping up wire and stuff. But what are they actually called? Alright, there we go. Okay, well. <sighs> See, this is why it's very important that you keep your bathrooms clean. Because that is the place that you bathe yourself. If you can't even have a clean bathroom, how are you going to be able to clean yourself? Sanitation 101, honestly. No, no, guys, help me clean the bathroom. Please, the bathroom is being repainted. Here, take this. I've got hunters already. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, let's, uh... All right, what else is there? Oh. That's it. All right. Well, thank you, Mel. That was Asylum by Mel C311. A very good job. All right. That's everything, I believe. All right. Well, let's go vote. So, Urban Decay by Ian Spadden. This was one of my favorite maps on the mod, to be honest. Um, it had a great atmosphere. I, I've said this like five times already, but I love that early modern cold, dark feeling. I love it. It's perfect for Half-Life. It has some great action. I love that fight scene at the end. I said before, even though I saw it coming, um, it was still a challenge. And I love that. Yeah, that great atmosphere and great gameplay. What else can you ask for? Ashtown by Event Horizon. I really love the cube mechanic that you implemented into this map. I'm assuming that's original, but I really like the idea of having a small item that is incredibly heading. It's a great way of uh, misleading and surprising the player, and I love it. Besides that, I can't really think of a whole lot. It had a little bit of puzzling in it, which felt kind of out of place. It just sort of happened, and then you left the testing chambers, which was a little bit odd. It's an okay map. It's an okay, not one of my favorites, but it was okay. So Banshee by Octagear. Um, I like the atmosphere of White Forest. I don't see White Forest used that much in mods. But besides that, I didn't think there was a whole lot going for it. It was fairly short and there weren't that many puzzles. It was mostly just platforming and bridge puzzles which uh, most of these mods did. Banshee was not one of my favorites. Fuel Me Once by uh, Derek Destiny. Yeah, I love this map. I love this map. I might have just been in the goofy mood while playing it, but I love that you gave a clear objective at the start of the game on what to do. I did have a lot of trouble in the uh, the puzzle room with the um, with the valves and the, uh, the toxic waste. It could have used a little bit more action. A couple of hunters did show up, but I dealt with them without even getting hurt, I think. But uh, I don't know, I had a lot of fun playing it. Citadel by Sockman. Yes, I absolutely loved it. Man, I it's probably just because I'm a sucker for a Portal-esque maps. Honestly, you did, um, you implemented the, uh, the Mertz module into the puzzles so well. It just felt like such a natural progression from the um, normal Portal testing. And you did actually get me to think objectively about the puzzles. I actually had to think what was the objective, what were the um, tools I had at my disposal, and how could I use them. So that was done very well. One of my favorite maps in this mod, Climber by Connor Bray, or Bedlams. Um, yeah, I can't really be that hard on you. I'm assuming this is one of your first maps. Which, I mean, kudos to you, man. You made more maps than I have. So I can't really say anything that bad about it. When you played the map, you had a clear objective of what to do and you had a clear um, threat. I think maybe if you stretch this concept out, it could have been um, a lot better. Maybe uh, still do the climbing sort of thing, but you actually have um, something following you. You actually have the danger coming with you as you climb 
But I'm assuming this is your first map, so I can't really say that many bad things about it. Good work, man. Collected by Purple Stacken. It felt pretty average, to be honest. It was a little bit rushed and kind of all over the place. Started out with a puzzle that was way too easy. And then um, you had another puzzle that was way too easy. And then you had another puzzle that was kind of hard. Then you had another puzzle. I mean, if you can call getting sniped a puzzle. And uh, then it just ended kind of abruptly. So Collector just felt kind of average to me. I felt like it had, you could have done a lot more with it. Maybe made the puzzles a bit harder. Honestly, you could have dragged it out more. Echo by Malavik. I said already that you had some great atmosphere in this map, mate. I really love that sort of dark, cold uh, morning feel. But besides that, you had a bit of everything. Um, you had you had the battery puzzle. Oh yeah, you did the um the uh the ant lion grubs in the city. I haven't seen that before. That was cool. But yeah, I would say this map was about above average. And lastly, Asylum by Alex and Drew. Yeah, this felt like it was pulled straight out of Nova Prospect. You did have me going there at the start because if you get stuck on the very first problem at the first objective with the door but um, it was is quite a delightful surprise to actually figure out that i could bust down doors like that kudos to you for making me want to use the gravity gun um you did that by like putting like lots of cosmetics and props all over the place if i could say anything bad about it i think there's a little bit too much health placed around the map and made it a bit too easy maybe if you had a bit less health all over the place i would have actually paid attention in the fights but yeah great map Good job, mate. And I believe that is everything. All right, so my favorites. <sighs> so something went wrong when I was trying to film this part of the video. Basically, when I was trying to vote for my three favorite maps, it would only let me vote for one map. And I thought this was weird, but I thought it was even more weird when I checked out the website on my mum's computer and on my phone and on my old iPad from school and all of those devices showed the community poll already finished. So I'm pretty sure it's not my fault. It's Philip's fault. Sorry, mate. <laughs> it's your website. I'm guessing he set the expiry date on the poll a little bit too early. Maybe like a month early. Something like that. But I might as well just tell you what my three favorite maps in this mod were. They were Asylum by Alex and Drew. Urban Decay by Ian Spadden and Citadel by Sockman. You can't beat a portal style map, man. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you do wanna download this mod for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. If you're feeling something a little different, but it's still Half-Life, I'm gonna leave a link to the whole of Fame page on runthinkshootlive.com where they've got a wide variety of a bunch of different mods. All of them are great. All of them are worth your time. Also, if you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon. If you go over there, then you'll find MP3 tracks, backing tracks, stem tracks, train tracks. If you're all about them tracks, then go over to my Patreon. And also, if you want to check out some of my music, I'll put a couple of boxes over here. I'll make sure it's Half-Life related so you don't get too off track. And, I don't know, have a good day, have a good life. Check out Family Jewels. Oh, one more thing. Before I forget, finishing Half-Life is just the beginning.